Santa Fe, two very different monuments showcasing moments from New Mexico's history are no longer on display. News 13's Francesca Washington explains why they were taken down and where they'll go next. This Trinity site replica was unveiled just a few weeks ago outside of the Santa Fe Community Convention Center. City officials say the donated piece was a part of their atomic summer theme. There's a series of lectures and events in coordination with the Los Alamos Historical Society. But now the space sits empty after the controversial prop from the sci-fi series Cosmos received mixed reviews. It's really beautiful. It felt very inappropriate and upsetting to me. And ultimately, the city decided to take it down. We put it up and it became pretty quickly a flashpoint of um, contention, uh, a point of argument, a, po a point of anger, um, and it just wasn't worth the distraction. That prop isn't the only monument getting the boot in downtown Santa Fe. For the past three years, a pump jack statue sat in front of the state land office. It's sad that people don't realize how much oil and gas benefits the state. The statue is now on a trailer waiting to go to San Juan College in Farmington. Land Commissioner Aubrey Dunn decided to donate it to the school because it's an election year and he says he doesn't want to see the next person come in and destroy what he calls an important symbol. There's been candidates that have uh, spoken about how happy they are going to be to be able to move it and so of giving, instead of giving them the pleasure of that, we've gone ahead and moved it ourselves. The pump jack will be moved in the next two weeks. The Trinity site replica was given to a local filmmaker. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. This isn't the first time a sculpture has been removed from the land office. In 2015, the pump jack replaced the brickhead sculpture, which sat outside the land office since 2011. Dunn apparently didn't like it, so it was moved to a nearby park. The